scientists still have not deciphered. Please welcome onto the stage Thomas Jamiki. There you go. That's our first team tonight. My third guest is the personification itself of the human connection. From the days of wearing a mask, which allowed audiences to see themselves reflected in it, to partaking in two massively successful talk shows, and now working on an original screenplay already rumored for an Academy Award nomination. It's a little known fact that The Matrix is loosely based off its life. It's LJ! And now my final and fourth guest for the night was the fifth Beatle to the Bionicle team, and that he was a personal consultant to the design team. He was personally suggested by Christian Faber himself to join the company. Every night when mocks are put on display at any conferences, he flies by and he perfects those that can use some help. But much like Kendrick Lamar, he always likes to stay humble. Let's welcome Venom! And I'm your host, Pablo, and welcome to On The Spot. Do it even better. Hey, if you know the song, sing it. If you don't, that's okay. There we go. I hear somebody singing it. Oh, I love it. See, we do have people who know how this thing works. No, I, I do know how this thing works. How does that mean, y'all? You know, it's part of the game. We are all on the spot. Hey, so we have this one here. You can just string it around as we play games. Um, how are you doing tonight? <laughs> yeah, I know, right tonight. How was this? Look, I've just been, you know, like, the wig really just messed with me today. So, how do y'all... It's very carefully organized one. Um, yeah, so how are y'all feeling with all the Brick Fair experience so far? Is it again? Yeah. You're talking a lot. It's really good. Yeah, talking and yelling, I believe. Yes, yeah. yelling. Laughing? A lot of laughing at the people who laughing. Okay, did y'all get to laugh as well as some of the people who didn't do well? I only cried. You only cried? Oh, man. I laughed, it was just Oh, thank you. I know, right? <laughs> okay, so, um, the way that On The Spot works, it's an improv game show game where none of us know what's going on, which is why it's so great for the audience and terrible for everyone. Because the contestants love messing with the host, and the host loves messing with the audience. Case in point, um, team names. I don't know what names they've chosen for their teams, so they're about to tell me what names they have chosen, and I'm already terrified. Um, which of you two wants to go for oh, something? Yeah, okay. So, I just, oh man, I, it, 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 it looks like to me, like the, they really are on the spot already. So, you gotta, like, tell me a little bit about your teammate. Alright, say it. Adriana Steen. Is there a specific reason why? Is there context to it? Because he, he misheard me say <laughs> He misunderstood what he said. I'm stuck with the Oh, I got it, I got it. So it's got Team it. Adriana Steen. Adriana is a team. <laughs> so we got Team Adriana Steen. Adriana is a team. Cool. Adriana's team. <laughs> Who's Adriana? I said a treadle Adrenaline, why don't you understand me? Your name is Venom. You can do it now, you don't have the 140 characters. It's <laughs> really tough to deal with. Um, so let's see what this side of the room has for me. Hey, Pablo. Hi, so I just want to make sure that you know, during this game, everyone follows the BZ Power rules. Of course. Right? This is going to be family friendly. Oh, no, I'm already uh, No politics, no religion, no romance, because that's not canon. Um, no double posting. Right. Um, you know, only post one chapter of your epic per day. Oh, uh, yeah. it's so, good. <laughs> so, so those are the rules. Um, so now that you know the rules, Pablo, what's your team name? <laughs> are, are you joking right now? <laughs> You're just asking for team name. So, what's your team name? Oh no. <laughs> Someone can silence yourself, though. It's 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 dead. Pablo, Team Cool Dude. 
Uh, team name is going to be uh, Team uh, Pablo's Dad Colin. So you need a team name too? Okay. okay. So I was thinking that um, since all you got here make you feel like an old man, what? and we've got Samiki here who's Team Farm Animals. Of course. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Rocket. <laughs> um, we are Team Horse Farm Upstate. They're, they're actually the glue that's holding uh, the soles of my shoe. Oh my god. <laughs> you know the that you like, <laughs> you wonder why you even like raise your voice or open your mouth about stuff? Alright, let's see if this thing, if not, I might have David help us out with that. This is the great part about on the spot. Stuff happens when you don't expect it. So to the next light, dude. So, uh, Mr. Black Six, does the filter still work while we talk? Going by BZP Wills? <laughs> You are in full dude. <laughs> okay, so. Oh man, how many of you were on BCP in the younger days? Really appreciate those jokes. Good God. I love you all. Thank you. <laughs> I feel old. It's it, because he is BCP. Do you remember the bio? It's true. So, um. Alright, come down. We have to start playing the game. Uh, first game is called Tolkien It Up. The idea of this game is. Uh, Pablo is pronounced Tolkien. <laughs> Tolkien, you know, uh, it's going to be a game where each of our teams is going to be given a word we got from Urban Dictionary. The idea is that they're going to try and guess the definition. They're each going to have one chance. If they don't get it right, then the other team gets one chance for rebuttal. So if they get it right, they get about 10 points. If they get it right, they get about 10 points. If nobody gets it right, um, you know, points to the audience. You people look lovely, so I'll give you points. <laughs> okay, so... Um, <laughs> so we can see the first word. The first word is Lego helmet. Tell me, Andrew, tell me, Thomas, what is a Lego helmet? A Lego helmet is a helmet that you go entirely out of Lego, but it's specifically to enclose something else. So you don't want a Lego helmet to just be a regular helmet. It's like a containment device. Does it have like the open ball, like where the eyes see? No, it's totally closed because no one should see it or out of what's in it because it encloses mega blocks. <laughs> I have a lot of questions. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so, so actually, Sumiki was kind of in a similar direction where I was going. So, so I'll have to mix it up a little bit. So a Lego helmet uh -huh. is kind of like a tinfoil hat uh -huh. made out of all, all drum lacquered silver Lego. So it's very expensive to make, but <laughs> it's very helpful because it keeps all of the bad aspects of the April hobby from getting into your brain, and all the bad parts of the internet. So, you know, all, all those things that we aren't allowed to put on the table should look there. Uh, all the conspiracy theories about, you know, what happened to Bionicle, like, it just keeps you, keeps that, keeps you pure inside, keeps you the most purest of Aples. You two look like geriatric old, like, people. You're just, like, angry about things. You're like, mega blocks, theories. Um, are y'all gonna say some wonderful like heavy things? First of all, like any conspiracy things. We all know G2 sold well. <laughs> it sold we well. also all know that you know using power is responsible for the demise of Bionicle. Right? <laughs> See, you thought you came for like a game show. This is actually just like a talking show where you just like open up our feelings. It's great. It's wonderful. Therapy is awesome, guys. Working out a long, a lot of long standing <laughs> members. <laughs> Here, can we make fun of them? I don't know if they want to be known. You can tell us in the potion. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, well, unfortunately, your definitions were um, kind of terrible. Uh, so we're going to go with the other team and hope that they redeem humanity. So, uh, TT, actually, no, sorry. Team um, Adrianus. Adri Adrianus, T and Adriana is a team. It's Adrenaline. Your name is Ben. Powers. <laughs> All right. Or ATV for short. <laughs> ATV for short. That doesn't work as hashtag. <laughs> Alright, ATV for short, get us. <laughs> okay, so, 
And like I guess you do call people short. So. That's true. It's the story of my life. <laughs> Lego helmet, it's a helmet you wear mm -hmm. so that when you trip and fall on Lego, you protect your head from stepping on the Lego. Okay. <laughs> Does your head step on something? Well, imagine, like, let's, <laughs> let's say you have some Lego bricks right here and you're walking along like, I like walking, oh no! And then your head scrams right into the Lego bricks. If you're wearing a helmet, you don't need to worry about it. It's like, it's like a shoe for your face. <laughs> LJ Johnson, 2019, it's like a shoe for your face. Put that on the t-shirt, people. <laughs> Where's the soul? Is the soul in the front? <laughs> you keep holes in for your eyes? What happens if your antenna gets through there? So many questions. I have some bad news. The, the soles, the, the uh, holes for the eyes, you're wearing a croc. It's like, it's like a croc. Oh no! That's, that's the shoe for your face. It's comfortable, but hideous. When you put a turtle leg, is that like wearing oh, like the croc? It's like my middle name, it's hideous. My parents gave me some What? Um... So David, do you want to show us the real definition? So, it is a very poor haircut, usually short at the front and long at the back, but resembles a helmet on a minifigure. I resemble this remark. <laughs> <laughs> Any of y'all ever had a Lego helmet done when you were like a kid? Like there's a photo of you when you were young and you got the Lego helmet going on? Yes. Man, what else? I mean, you didn't all like bring your minifigure to the barber shop and say I want to look like this? I did, yeah, I did. You did, yeah, you did, you did that. <laughs> Tell you, you don't take your yeah, hair off at night and you wear sleep and you take it off on in the morning. Great, just like that. That'll be so convenient. Guys, come on, we're gonna need you. Um, we gotta... There's so much money on shampoo. Um, I'm gonna give points to the dishwasher. Be quiet. I'm gonna give points to the dishwasher. You can't make me, I'll ban you. I... I'll give you the shampoo and the conditioner. I will not be held liable for any acts of murder in the next 20 minutes, just to let you know. So that's a, a, a conditional crime. I'm going to stop you. LG gets the points, or his team gets the points, because it, it did actually have to do with like his head and stuff that's going on there. So y'all step into the world. So 10 points to their team. Uh, David Trost is going to be big, big mega blocks. I forgot the easy part of it. The administration is always right. I mean, they are. I think 10 points goes to us. <laughs> um, Ten points to Andrew for finding the loophole. Uh, I'm still stuck. Uh, no, he already asked, but like the first time I said. Oh, okay. Um, okay, constructing. So, lovely people, ATV. What does constructing mean? So you know that one time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know that one time. Go on. You're in your room. You're a teenager. You're super angsty. Some of us are still going through that phase, and. And you're listening to hardcore oh, death metal. Yeah. <laughs> As one does. As you, and you're rebelling against your parents. Like, I hate being nice. By um, listening to death metal and spreading it. Like constracting that. is is the Lego uh -huh. community version of that, where you're okay. just, you're into constraction. You're rebelling against all of your your peers, your elders in the system community. It's like I like constraction. I just have those weird like on my face. <laughs> Not dead, Mom! <laughs> it's so well! It did! Are you making this up? So. Are, are you all making this up hypothetically, or do you like have deep seated trauma that it's only flourishing now again? Both! Alright. I only um, listen to all American rejects and cry shell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in cry shell. That's your Can you my album? He is the album. <laughs> <laughs> so bad hit is with it. What's constructing mean? What's another definition that you can add on? Uh, contracting. Okay, so we already uh, established that contracting is something that happens around the same time that you hit puberty. It's it's that 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 sweet spot uh -huh. right before you hit adulthood, right. where you realize that your life has been constructed by actors. What? <laughs> they also refer to this as the existential crisis. <laughs> because me. your life is constructed by actors. Yes, so here's the thing. I thought that was a bit lead crisis, so you understand what you're going to do. Oh no, the Lord had such an effect on you. Let me tell you about the birds and the bricks. Okay, you're done. You're done. All right. I'm just... Easy people. I, I'm, like, I'm, I'm just going to leave this with your face is the sole of your shoes and your life is constructed by actors. I think this is the real takeaway we have for today. Um, so, uh, unfortunately, even though those, those were beautiful, um, they're not right. <laughs> Shocking. Um, uh, two points for Andrew for coming in with that uh, sick burn. Stay woke. Three points to Ben for that comment.
Uh, are you giving points to me? <laughs> <laughs> so, so Team Horse Farm Upstate has 500 points right now, I believe. Uh, uh, I've been keeping track on my own. It seems a little biased. Just going to point that out. I've got 497. So um, we're in 97 is a weird way to say two. So, um, that is not the definition, so this other team can go. Alright, do I go for it? Yeah, so one of you has to go. Okay, so constructing is when you're constructing something and you're acting out. It's like it's a therapy session, but with like, you know. Right, you take a little mask and like you, you kind of stick it on your head so you're pretending you get the powers while you're building your toe out and everything. It feels, feels like an attack. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. It's like about. you're acting it out through construction. It's, okay. it's, a, it's an act of life. And there. I object. That's literally what we said. <laughs> also, no, also, also the English language. No, it's not involved because roommates is in here. <laughs> oh. Um, so David, do you want to show us what the definition is to see what these lovely people got right? It's the state of being both constricting yes! and distracting. That's not anyone I know. So. I'm gonna have to go again with them because it was all about like psychologically messing with people. I love the idea of like actors constructing your life. Because I don't know what that means, so I think it's great. It means that my dad is Clint Eastwood. <laughs> and that's also one that I have no clue what's. My mom is Betty White. And that's another one. Um, uh, three points for Ben for having amazing parents. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're going to actually skip the last word and go, go on to the next game. So, Dan, if you can just move us to the next game, we can skip that other one that was a weird definition. Um, so, points. I think we have about 20 plus, like, 28 right here. 28, yeah, so 20, no. No, you want only one, right? Yeah, 10, 28. Okay. Don't you get two points, Dan? Yeah, 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 you got two points for That's the... That's true. Uh, two, right, I said? So, 28 to 12. Um, this is going to for all to realize you know. So 28 to 15. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 They don't need the extra bell. Look, hey, I'm the host, I have the bell, I get to decide what happens. Yeah, like, you can change my proto level. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to point to Ben for disagreeing with the host. Um, let's go to the next game, David. You were sitting at the forums like that. I thought you were on red team soon. <laughs> We're in that part of the game. Sink about it. Sink about it. That's actually a good point. Uh, two points to Andrew for remembering. I need you all to do the noise that comes when I say the name of the game. So, sing about it. <laughs> two more points to Andrew for knowing it. <laughs> sing about it is the game where we're going to give a question, one of these teams, and they're going to answer it one by one. So each person has to give a word to answer the question. Here's the thing. Whenever the host rings the bell, the other team gets to interject and say one word that now they have to incorporate. So we're going to start with this team because Andrew knows how the game works. And he can kind of it's show you. <laughs> Allegedly. It's more on the spot. So, David, take us to the first prompt. What is our first prompt today? How to defeat Pterodax. So the lovely team right here is going to tell us how to defeat Pterodax. And they're going to do it by basically a game of hot potato with their words one by one. And then when I ring the bell, you all get to say one word that they have to incorporate. Ready? All right, I'm going to put 60 seconds on the clock. What letter are we starting off with? Uh, no, that one doesn't start with a letter. Oh, it doesn't? I'm too far okay. ahead to make you stop. I'm sorry. You showed me like one skit of the actual show. So he, he read the script. Uh, he read the script. Uh, that, that's right. Yeah, we it's have to the script for on the spot. All right, 60 seconds on the uh, clock. Let's start with Sumiki. Sumiki, tell us how to defeat Teradax. 60 seconds on the clock starting now. When you... Well, no, you gotta wait for the. Who's <laughs> gone? What is that voice? I got nervous. When you want to defeat the evilest, horriblest Makuna ever, you must try <laughs> to collect all of the masks and. Use all of them to <laughs> defeat Makuta and all the Shadow Toa. And if you hesitate, <laughs> you 
will die. Please! Oh, man. No, 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 Thank you guys so much for that. It's so amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I was so shook that y'all were being so kind. Don't worry, I'll just be away though. Is it? Hi. Yes. I just wanted to see some sabotage going on. And she was just like the nice that they were like, try. <laughs> and all of a sudden they were like, hesitate, hesitate. Listen, I was building with something and then he came over and stomped my Lego tower. <laughs> I wore a Lego tower. Oh gosh. Um, it's just a warm up, don't worry. We'll get there. Alright, um, let's go to the next one, and then after that we'll decide who gets points. So, uh, team really long stuff that's just going to be summarized by HP. Um, How do you build a mock? How do you go about building a mock? Remember, 60 seconds on the clock, hot potato, HP says one word, and then I'm going to ring the bell to have somebody go. 60 seconds, nope, no planning. It's on the spot. So, now, the mock that likes to eat must start with Blenching. So, and you will not get any brains. I said, oh! Um, take out a Lego bin and make a gallon. <laughs> Put using only red feet and CCBS. Bones. People recorded this, right? I just want to see Ben's face when he was just like shook by whatever the hell they were saying. <laughs> so, how did you feel that way? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Brilliantly. Oh, man. Mr. Mock Spotlight here um, to carry us through to the air. Um, did we finish? <laughs> I want to see this mock. <laughs> what section of Brick Fair is it in? The whole <laughs> 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 The bin where you find Galador. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean the garbage can? <laughs> Matthew's not there, it's okay. So th this kind of abuse is why Matthew and you all believe it is. It was too bad. That's why he didn't come back. No! So, Did he die? Uh, <laughs> um, uh, plus five points to both teams for being sad about Matthew not coming back. Um, <laughs> so that's just a correct opinion. Like that's, that's like a fact. Yep. Do you want me to take points off of well, from them, yes. Five points worth of meeting for disagreeing with us. I object. That's against the rules. Can you promote me so I can bend <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, okay. So, hold on. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. Um, <laughs> points to Team uh, Horse Chillin' Upstairs. <laughs> team Dead Horse. Team Dead Horse. <laughs> team Beating a Joke to Death. Um, because their, their answer had some stuff about, like, the masks. Being collected. Our answer was canon. Like, they had some mock stuff, they got to like this. the trash can at the end, but the middle was <laughs> very pause heavy. Sabotage the wrong team! <laughs> <laughs> Part like you were? Who, whose kid is this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think by points by this point, y'all had like 20 something, only like 30 something after I gave you the I think y'all are losing right I object. Is that why you guys are being two dead horse? Because we're beating you? I don't feel like it was <laughs> That's the spirit. I thought, yeah. I thought each round you got more points for winning, so we should have gotten like 20 points for that, and that's just no lead. Okay, okay, fair, hold up. <laughs> Is someone actually keeping me out? <laughs> if that's the case, yeah, then we're going to play more points. Yeah, 37 points. you guys. What, what, you what does that say? Oh, uh, no, 37 points. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. Hold on, round of applause for that before we continue. Oh my god. I like that guy. I like him a lot. Y'all have to face you. Oh no, that's right. Team Paul was at his phone. Zero points. That's right. Okay. 
19. How many? They got 19 and they got I thought my friend 32. Oh man, it looks like y'all are losing just by a slight margin. I think I have a request problem. I can honor that request. I still might be getting points. What's up, Can we give him a point to keep the track? So. Yes, um, 120 points. Awesome. Round of applause. There we go. Um, so, do you take us to the next slide? I want to see if we have the redemption challenge finally going on. Thank you, David. Oh no, we got another one coming for us. Oh, Wait, hold on, let's do the noise again? Yeah. So, uh, seven points for Andrew for doing the noise. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I never did that, so I don't know. Impromptu Pitch is a game where I'm going to ask for a person, a place, and a genre. And one team is going to get all those prompts, and they're going to have to pitch a Hollywood movie. Here's what's going to happen. Every once in a while, if I ring the bell, the other person on the team is going to have to keep the pitch going. The way that we're going to do this is I'm going to ask the audience directly. Audience, give me a person, a bionicle character. Greg Tahu. Tahu. Uh, give me a place. Greg. I'm talking. Greg. I'm talking. What I hear? Karzani. Karzani? Uh, so we had Tahu and uh, Karzani. Genre. What's the genre? Romance. Romance. What's that? I heard it first. Rom-com. Rom-com. OK, so <laughs> the movie that we're going to pick is the Hollywood is Tahu and Karzani. Sorry, in a rom-com. Um, let's have them go first. <laughs> let's see what they do. I object. We're not ready. I too object. Considering that they weren't able to sabotage this team, I don't think they'll be able to sabotage themselves, so I have faith that they'll do well. <laughs> Just kidding, I love y'all. They do well. Um, I think misplaced faith. <laughs> I'm looking at their face in this. <laughs> I misplaced like, what? <laughs> I misplaced my faith a lot. Is that a big problem that happens to me? You like it once. I keep mine oh, no. off of BG Power because that's against the rules. <laughs> <laughs> They're really cute. <laughs> I'm sorry. Seven year old me really enjoyed that being like, ah, the times change. <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, Team Adriana's team. Adriana is a team. I said adrenaline. Why? Your name is Venom. Uh, so you're going to do Tahu and Karzani in a rom com. You're going to have 60 seconds on the clock. Like I said, anytime that I ring the bell, for example, if LG's been talking and I ring the bell, suddenly it's Ben's turn to keep going. Okay? 60 seconds on the clock. Tahu, Karzani, rom com. Go ahead. Tahu is in a place where love is hard to find. A desolate, hot, and miserable location. Well, you know, it isn't hot and miserable. It's this wonderful Matoran that he meets on the island. She's beautiful. She's glorious. She has a weird mask. <laughs> it's a blocky mask. <laughs> Join Tahu and Mogulu in an adventure for a lifetime on their journey through Karzani. But suddenly, Artaka appears on the island. Oh no, Tahu is contested. Now it's up to Tahu to compete with Artaka for the love of lo young lady <laughs> Matoran, whose name is, um... Crack. <laughs> In Minecraft. Drake is my favorite character in the movie. If this came on Hot I would watch it. Um, who here would love to watch that movie now? <laughs> so, um, lovely team, tell us what is the name of your movie? Uh, Tahu and Karzani. Oh, yeah, that was good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, so we're going to Are you officially announcing it here right now? Yes. Is it happening? I didn't know it, was. it was all perfectly flat, so they didn't make it up on the spot. I was, I was gonna, I was gonna say, coming to a YouTube near you, summer 2028. Not videos. <laughs> but how will you press? Can I get it on VHS? <laughs> can you get it on me? You can get your Baymax, yes. <laughs> Pre-order nostalgic pack today, and you will get a VCR. And maybe a VHS copy of the tape, if we can afford it. I am so. At least one person is. <laughs> okay, well, I'm short, so I'm like half a person. So. Fair enough. Um, okay, audience, now we're going to go with this group. Give me a character. Takua. Yeah! Solek. Let's go with something. Solek? Yeah. Yes. Solek, I like it. Just because Andrew is very unfamiliar with the story, so I like that we're going to get one of them. Solek! 
What's the place? Galador! Galador? Okay. Outer Dimension. <laughs> so we got Soul Like and Galador the Outdoor Dimension. What's the genre of this movie? Horror. Horror. horror movie. So Like and Galador, and it's a horror movie, everyone. 60 seconds on the clock, let's see if they will convince you to fund this movie. And start us off, sweetie. <laughs> Four dimensions cross. One obscure biological character is afflicted with a disease where he can't move his elbows or his knees. Oh, thank you. He does have the ability to randomly transform those body parts that have no articulation into things like genomes and other claws. And then... He finds Nick to the tooth. And they make out. Wait, no, she's not. And then the Jesus is like, there's this, there's this crazy green frog thing chasing after me. And it... So, so I must save the other dimension by escaping from the frog man named Eucalyptus. <laughs> and saving the other dimension. And then maybe also moving his own elbows once. <laughs> At what moment did your brain flick that it went, oh wait, this is a horror? <laughs> as soon as I said, make me out. Yeah, they're like, that character just vanished. D did anything happen with them? No, they got killed. It's a horror film. No, it was a romance according to you. <laughs> well, can it be both? Well, it was, was a genre-breaking title. They couldn't contain it. It's the, so, it's the brunch that stole Christmas. Seven points to meet you for a Stephen Allison about Gallagher. Um... <laughs> I want to know what universe this takes place in. <laughs> Earth 616. Come on, I think about it. Um, what's the name of the movie I that you are going to pitch to Hollywood? Really ever with. Marvel's Gallagher. I did not move to Happy Meal Toy and the robot guy Happy Meal Toy. Gallagher 2, my child. We got behind you. That's the full name. I said right? half meal. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're almost as long as your team name. Uh, you'll get there eventually. <laughs> I'm going to give points to them just because they're a little bit more on track. Because while Ben pausing made me laugh and losing, I'm like, I feel beholden. So I can't leave yeah, it. Um, he knows who has the band hammer. Right? So 10 points to them. Uh, how are we doing points wise? Who's losing? Really? Oh, yeah. oh, dude. I object. Oh, my turn <laughs> two. Uh, two points for Ben for objecting. Okay, so that means that we're going to do a redemption challenge. What this means is that the team who is losing has to do something humiliating or potentially hilarious to get back some points. Uh, <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, you stood up. Ben's like, I'm ready. Hold on, aren't you on your own team who has zero points? Oh, so oh, that you have to do the redemption challenge yourself? Boom! Humiliated! <laughs> Logic ball. Going through my entire life is redemption. <laughs> Ooh, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I, I love how Ben said, I'm like, I'm ready. <laughs> so these are usually humiliating or silly. Um, and what we're gonna do is I'm going to ask them this group to choose their favorite or best artist. Who is your most effective illustrator, drawer, artist? Carlos Donovan. <laughs> How many points is uh, the team losing by? And based on that, we'll figure out how many points we're going to give you. I willingly ate four snickles today. Is that humiliating? 19 points? Yeah. Okay. Um, you're going to do a challenge for everything you do here correctly. You're going to get five points. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to need you, LJ, to put on this horse mask. <laughs> Just like this? Yeah, just like that. Just the one that looks like a really sad, like, soccer ball that was destroyed. Look inside of this thing. That's the horse looks like when it goes into the final street. Alright, come on, Elder. <laughs> wow, that looks haunting. Oh, that's a horror film. No, that looks like Gordon. Seriously. <laughs> All right, LJ, come up here and stand in front of this table. Oh, uh, LJ, back to wearing a mask. Right here. <laughs> That's true. But now, it's anticipated. So, right here. Hello? Here? Okay, so you're going to have four easels, and I'm going
going to give you four masks to draw on them. <laughs> I'm going to tell you after you've got 15 seconds, you got to move on to the next easel, but you can't look at them. Those are a girdle, Pablo. How many of those you need to put the salmon in mosaic on? Sorry, I need to be the boy mosaic. <laughs> Well, we said to Kevin, we were like, what are these easels for ants? I didn't know they made easel signs specifically for you. They did. All right, here you go, I'll do here. I'll grab the microphone from you, and let me show you where these are. So you got one, two, three, and four. So you're going to have a minute to draw on all of those four. Let's <laughs> <laughs> make it a hey, Kanoki Miru, Mononui the Island. Uh, no, so I'm just telling you the four, and as soon as we ring, you start, okay? You got a Kenoki Miru, you got Mononumi the Island, you have Greg's Thirsty Space, yeah. <laughs> and you have a Krona. So after 15, minutes, uh, 15 seconds is up, you gotta move on to the next one, okay? So you got a Green Miru, Mononumi the Island, Greg F, and a Krona. Ready, right, set, I'm, I'm, I'm go! Ready. All right, LJ, you got this. What's the first one again? Uh, it's the Miru. It's the Miru. Okay, you can't mess this up. Can't you, can't, you can't do it. I don't believe in you. Are we enjoying this all? Oh, you got the basic shape if it was wrong. Looks like the apple <laughs> one over there. Next one! Monogamy right. the Island! Monogamy the Island, LJ. You have to control all six regions. Imagine an island that looks like Monogamy. Like the robot face? If it was a potato, I guess that works too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did try to get the Eagle Nevins in there. Greg Farshee! Greg Farshee! Greg Farshee! Alright, Greg, you know what looks like? Oh, oh my god. Did Greg get some plastic surgery since you last saw him? It looks like you gave up on the picture already. And a Krona! Krona, LJ, you can't mess Which this one? up. You look Is it the Zah or the Zah? Uh, oh shoot. The, the Krona, uh, the, the Krona, yes, all of the above. It's all of the above. <laughs> yes, all, oh, wow. And it's the most Yeah, yeah. Kevin, you you're gonna watch all of these four ones, and you're gonna tell me if you think they did good or if you think it could have been better. Yes, Judge. Hi, Kevin. Everybody, it's Kevin Hinkle. Here's how we're gonna do it. If you cannot recognize at all what he drew, zero points. If it's sort of there, we'll do three points. If it's definitely there, we'll do five points. Tanoki Miru, the mask of Liwa wears. <laughs> from the side or from the front? From the side, you're the judge. Yeah. I mean, I can kind of see it from this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have to do that. That was at least some point. I mean, I can kind of see it if it was a profile. All right, yes. three points out for the first one. Show it. The Island of Mononui. Okay, that's pretty good. Actually. Five points for the Island of Mononui. We're on eight points. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Greg Farsi's face. You were good. Show them to the camera. Yeah, yeah. Show them to this camera. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Share with the class. <laughs> Share with the class. <laughs> so, Greg Farsi's face. What do we think? Oh. <laughs> that one I'm excited to for y'all to see. What? Okay. Why was there a dump? <laughs> That, it's I mean, an in and it uses, <laughs> but it's, it's kind of garbage. It's his <laughs> <laughs> Zero points in the light time star for LJ. And a Krona! That is definitely a devil mask. <laughs> Five points for the Krona! And another round of applause for Kevin! Thank you, Kevin! <laughs> that was 13 points, right? Keep all wow. this. Okay. Yes, all right, so what are the point values now? 47 points, two. Zero points for me. There you go. 53. Okay. It's close. So now we get to the final game. Isaac, ABCs of Storytelling. <laughs> ABCs of Storytelling is one where we're going to give specific prompts to each of the teams that they're going to have to act out of an impromptu skit. Here's the catch, though. Every time that they say a sentence, it has to be with the alphabet going continue. So if, for example, he can say something that starts with the letter A, like ah, or apricots, and Andrew's gonna have to go with something that starts with the letter B. Who here feels confident that they could recite the alphabet under pressure? This can is I get that burger's a great on my hand real quick? Nope. Nope. 
So, um, let's start off with this scene right here. Um, I can move this to the next slide. So, Shumiki is a first timer at Brick Fair. He wants to know what to expect, which he asks of Andrew, who unfortunately has just knocked over all of the mocks that Sumiki, this wonderful first timer, has brought to Brick Fair. That's yep. actually how Sumiki did first met. <laughs> I heard you forgiven him. <laughs> oh boy. Man. Things you've never seen. Um, okay, let's start off with the letter... Oh, I forgot also. X and Z. You don't have to use them, but if you do, you get two points. Um, let's start you off with the letter L. So, letter L. Sumiki, you start us off. 60 seconds on the clock. Letter L, starting now. Let... <laughs> that's a whole sentence? Yes! Let's, <laughs> Let's go to break for it. Oh, hi, you must be Black Six. Thank you, <laughs> Andrew. My name is indeed Black Six. <laughs> also, it is Andrew. Pleasure to meet you. Who are you? Name? Assuming. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> I, I recognize you from with a hot dog on your head. <laughs> Plenty of hats to go around here. Quite, quite. <laughs> Right, so, uh, I, no, wait, no. oh no, you just say, no, nope. right, no, I heard so, sorry, right, what happened to all of my mocks? That's a long story, see, there's this guy named Pablo. song in my head. That's why this game is great. <laughs> so they went through L M N because I think a lot of us here share that. L M N O P Q and then R S. They went R T. Uh, yeah, they went R T. The letter S. Yeah. It's my last initial. You shall respect it. <laughs> New music power roll. There's no S in there. <laughs> I'm sorry, Umiki. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so 10 points for this team dance for that. Um, and now... I love That's not all the count. I love you don't want this to carry out just all of the rest of the weekend. Um, okay, so 10 points for this team. Uh, and now the other team, Isaac, let's see what theirs is. LJ needs help recording his first ever podcast. And so he asked for help from his friend Venom who is deathly afraid of being electrocuted by any technological <laughs> device. Uh, let's start you off with the letter... D. Letter D. Uh, let's have LJ, you're gonna go first, 60 seconds on the clock. Remember the letters of the alphabet. If you need to do the song, you're gonna lose time, it's gonna be really entertaining. Uh, 60 seconds on the clock, starting now. Don't know how to do this whole podcast thing, but maybe my girl buddy or friend old Alan can help me. <laughs> For goodness sake, you startled me, <laughs> Good, I love startling you. <laughs> How about you help me with this first ever podcast I'm doing, having never done a podcast before? I don't know, LJ. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's, uh... <laughs> Not really uh, my forte, you know. Uh, I don't know. Just give it a shot, buddy. It's not like anything could go wrong. We're not buying any bathtubs. Cool it. Cool it. Yeah, cool it. Yeah. 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 Come on, Elway. Come on. Let's calm down, Elway. <laughs> Well, you did use that. I'll give you that. Yes, you got it. Okay, they got nine points. Let's hear what the final points were for the game. What do we get? 56 points for this team! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 